This tutorial is for third grade, not just sixth, lesson five. In this lesson, we're going to work on some measurement concepts. This will help us in some upcoming lessons where the students will actually be making their own line plots involving some fractions as well. So it says Jenna marked a five inch paper strip into equal parts as shown below. We're to label the whole and half inches on the paper strip. So I'm going to start by showing the holes. So we'll start with zero on the end. This is one hole, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to mark the halves as well. I'll mark those down here. So we have a half here, one and a half would be here, two and a half is here, three and a half here, and four and a half there. The next direction says estimate to draw the one fourth inch marks on the paper strip. And then we'll fill in the blanks below. Well, if I'm looking at one fourth, that means I need to take my one hole and divide it into four equal pieces. I've already divided each hole in half. All I have to do from there is divide each half in half as well. And that will give me fourths going across the entire hole. So there's four pieces that make up the one hole, another four pieces that make up the next hole, and then we have another four sections, another four sections, and finally my last set of fourths that make up the last hole. First question says one whole inch is equal to how many half inches? Well, here's my one whole inch, and it is equal to two half inches. And then one whole inch is equal to how many quarter inches? Well, a quarter inch is the same as a fourth inch. So you can see that one whole inch is made up of four quarter inches. And the last question says one half inch is equal to how many quarter inches? Well, here's my one half. It's made up of two quarter inches. So one half is the same thing as two quarter inches or two fourths. Next, I have a couple of questions to answer. This one says, describe how Jenna could use this paper strip to measure an object that is longer than five inches. So that strip was only five inches. So my answer says that Jenna could line the ruler up, mark where five inches falls, and then move the ruler to keep measuring. So you could use that same strip over and over again to measure something that is longer than five inches. And the last question says, Sarah says her pencil measures eight half inches. Bart disagrees and says it measures four inches. Explain to Bart why the two measurements are the same in the space below. Use words, pictures, or numbers. Well, I'm going to start by drawing a picture that would represent four inches. So I'll draw this ruler and break it into four inches. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 inches. Now I will divide each inch into a half. So I've got my 4 inches. Now we can count and see how many halves we have. Sarah says there's 8 half inches. And we'll see. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Sarah is correct. There are eight half inches that make up four inches.